गुड आफ्टरनून माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स मेघना जकती मेघना जकती मेघना मेघना जकती वीना फरेरा रोहिन रोहिन नजाफ Yes, sir. Audible. Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yeah. Uh, today I want to take uh, remaining points with related to this unit. Started already in yesterday class about the what that external hiring is. Then what are the sources of external hiring? Started already in newspaper and TV advertisement, in radio. What are the advantages and disadvantages? And in America, how many people they are going to use that? Uh, radio as compared to newspaper and uh, everything uh, especially in within one minute how you should give that uh, audio advertisement in radio everything i explained in internet also i explained then search on internet also I explained sign boards and consultants also employment exchange also covered in yesterday class then uh, uh, yesterday completed campus recruitment employee referrals then uh, today i want to start that unsolicited uh, that applications i completed unsolicited uh, applicants also rohin yes sir yes sir study you did sir completed na yes sir yes sir yeah uh, but in today's class i want to uh, complete that advantages and disadvantages of the above sources in disadvantages cost time convenience reach of the targeted publication and quality of applicant pool so as all of you aware about the uh, what are the uh, advantages and disadvantages of external recruitment already so with respect to uh, cost the time and convenience and reach of the targeted population and quality of applicant pool today i want to discuss on these all points about each and every particular Uh, uh recruitment procedure external recruitment procedure then what are the major advantages of external recruitment is that is advantage is there is a influx of new talent in the method no doubt so the method encourages more and more competition okay by implementing uh, external recruitment okay uh, you can uh, see that in this cases so by that that will encourages what the uh, competition what the skill knowledge so for the purpose to uh, uh, maintain that relationship with others you need to maintain your competence is also equal to other uh, new entered uh, that uh, any uh, candidates there is lesser chance of partiality through this method maybe uh, there is no any partiality by external recruitment maybe internally maybe there are some partialities are there but by implementing this external recruitment there is uh, there is also some partialities but as compared to internal one this is a somewhat partialities are there if options like campus recruitment have been exercised okay uh, uh, we get a chance to employ fresh graduates thus increasing employment no doubt especially in campus recruitment take an example to the colleges or somewhere they are going to fix that particular recruitment procedure so on the basis of that a major advantage of that external recruitment is to uh, going to take uh, that uh, employment fresh graduates to increase the employment number to your organization so these are the major advantages of external recruitment then what are those disadvantages of external recruitment is disadvantages are the method is costly because it involves recruitment cost selection training cost all these because you don't know what kind of particular candidates this, those are from different background uh, uh, candidates they will come so for them you need to recruit them and it will be more it will take more cost and even in time of selection while you are going to select before going to select that you need to uh, give them some particular aptitude test you need to check their uh, that uh, presentation skills everything so for that you need to Uh, um, uh, maintain those all costs so training costs are also uh, high as compared to internal recruitment 
And second one is the method is time consuming. It will take more time to leave that ad particular in the uh, medias. So after that, it will take time to they have to all the applicants they should come and uh, each uh, candidate wise you need to take them uh, interview so finally you need to select and it will take more time so the method is reduces loyalty to the company this method is there is no any loyalty because a new entered customers if they are happy about the salary they are going to stay in the company otherwise they'll quit a job immediately so there is no any loyalty of uh, the particular employee to the company if there is any uh, internal employees are there then they will get motivated then they are going to retain in the same particular organization especially in this section uh, recruitment there is a less number of uh, uh, loyalty of the employees so you need to concentrate there that is very important then uh, newspaper and uh, this uh, media so uh, what are the advantages by leaving such a kind of any uh, advertisements in the newspaper advantages are like this the ability to communicate with a mass audience in a given area, whatever area you will give is so on the basis of that will cover more particular uh, people. So all people ready to uh, uh, read that newspaper daily morning. So it will be going to a uh, fast moment of that particular any information to the all the uh, audience and maybe uh, to readers. So uh, second one is flexibility regarding ad size and placement on a page what kind of flexibility is there now take an example what kind of size you want depend on that that flexibility is also there depend on that okay uh, and the prices are also like that only so depend on the centimeter and inches wise okay they will uh, their prices are different okay depend on the photo and information okay and they are going to fix that particular amount so uh, again those are depend on the what kind of particular uh, information is there and which particular paper, which particular newspaper uh, you are going to select. Take an example, uh, Kudari or uh, Tarn Bharat or uh, Indian Express, the Hindu or whatever. So in what particular uh, uh, newspaper you are going, you are leaving such a kind of particular uh, information, Vijay Karnataka, Vijay Vani, Sankt Karnataka. So depend on that, they are going to, again, their particular uh, whatever the uh, newspapers are there those rates are uh, totally different as compared to one newspaper person to another news person so uh, which particular newspaper i add you want a particular that uh, information that is up to you so uh, advantage is it will cover uh, more particular audiences and uh, they can easily uh, collect that data in which particular company there are some options are there so even flexibility regarding the size that is there that option no doubt then what are the disadvantages Disadvantages are like advertising can be very expensive. No doubt what I mentioned, maybe per uh, centimeter that is uh, per centimeter square or uh, inch wise they are going to measure. Even I also don't know exactly what is the particular cost of that. But uh, that is much more expensive as compared to other uh, expenses. TV ad and uh, newspaper ad, radio ad, these all are expensive only. Adverts generally have a short shelf life as newspapers are often read once and then discarded no nobody is going to keep uh, up to long uh, period of time only one time uh, they will read and some uh, again after that reading they will discard that then your adverts may potentially not be read by suitable candidates suitable candidates uh, sometimes they are not going to read that then slow uh, turn around the time increase the amount of paperwork and administration in uh, setting up the advertisement so uh, especially while they are going to set any particular and maybe spelling or whatever sentences okay it is very difficult sometimes if there is any errors take an example it is a one of the major issue in the public so we need to take care about all those points so these are the major disadvantages of by implementing or taking this media as a newspaper then next point is that is recruiting agencies or consultants advantages what are the advantages by selecting uh, recruitment agencies or consultants First one is it reduces the impact on company resources and time spent on recruitment. No doubt, the major advantage is by selecting any consultant or agencies is to they will reduce the uh, any company reduces and it is very time uh, saving uh, this one. So means as an HR manager of any company, they are not going to take care of so such a kind of any information. They will leave everything uh, related data to the consultants or any recruiting agencies. The second one is. Agencies can be managed 
and pay contract workers and take care of tax issues also. Agencies can manage everything related to tax or any contract workers. So they can take care about the, all the issues. Is. So here there is no any tension related to such a kind of any recruitment to the uh, uh, major uh, employers. Then third one, you can often get a rebate for unsuitable placements within a specific uh, period of time or be provided with another candidate. No doubt, it's very important. You can often get a rebate for unsuitable placements. Uh, no, uh, if there is any unsuitable placements, are, then you can uh, discuss with that with uh, the consultants or any agents. So on the basis of that, okay, they will select one uh, uh, good qualified candidates as per the need of the organization. Then fourth one, that is expertise and knowledge uh, candidate they will select at the time, okay? And they are very specialists in the field. So on the basis of no need to go through about, as an HR, no need to conduct any exams for them. They already, they will do the everything. So uh, they are in that particular pool only to conduct and uh, recruit such a kind of particular. Uh, so the whatever the amount uh, that uh, 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 this one is there, that is related to the company and the consultant or agencies. So depend on what kind of particular agencies and consultants you are going to select, that is the, the uh, contract between you and uh, other people. So before going to take that advantage, you need to be transparent between you and your management. Then only it is very easy for you to, without any disputes or any uh, conflicts between you and your agency. Then uh, recruiting agencies or consultants disadvantages. As again, if, if when there is the advantages are there, there should be, <coughs> sorry, uh, again, uh, disadvantages. First one is wastage of time if they are not able to find a suitable candidate. If you are given any such kind of work, take an example, if they are not going to take as an one of the serious matter, means it will uh, waste his time. Then second one is it is expensive, no doubt. Instead of your work, you, instead of your particular uh, time wastage, they are going to take that as a challenge. But you may have to pay such uh, much as 20% uh, of your employee's first year uh, annual salary. Means in, in generally, 20% uh, what your uh, employees they will get your employee's annual salary. In that particular 20%, they will get that. This means that if an employee is paid uh, your 40,000 in the first year, you could be paying as much as uh, your uh, 8,000 in uh, recruitment fees per vacancy. Even at the conservative 12%, you would be paying your 4,800. So like that, there are some, again, uh, contracts are there, okay? Depend on, as an HR manager, they are going to, are going to negotiate with the help of their management to the uh, agencies or any consultants. So how they are going to uh, um, maintain that relation, so depend on that, okay? Uh, that is there, there in the organization. If that is not going to happen, the negotiation is not there, sometimes they are not going to recruit the, uh, they are not going to select the, uh, uh, qualified candidate to the organization, okay? So that raises the disputes and differences between the HR managers and those consultants. Then next one is job advertisements. Uh, job advertisement is uh, developing. A good job advertisement is similar to the other forms of advertising in that the readers of the advertiser or advertisement are your potential customer, no doubt. A good advertisement is easy to read and use simple languages. Job advertisements are uh, really, it's very simple to analyze the content of that job. Okay, where there is a job and uh, uh, when it should be conducted, okay, uh, for the purpose to attract, okay. The aim of the particular job advertisement is to attract the interest and communicate quickly and clearly the essential points and provide a clear response related to the process of how they're going to recruit the uh, candidates. So it is very simple and it, it will try to avoid excessive details about the job, too many words, keep it simple, uninspiring, boring descriptions of roles and ideal candidates, too much emphasis on the job and not enough on the person, too much emphasis on what you want and not enough of what can be offered. So for the purpose to prohibit such a kind of any uh, more content from the advertisement, especially this job advertisement plays a very important role to uh, prevent that excessive details about the job, too many words, and to maintain that very simple 
then uh, uninspiring or boring descriptions like that. So these are the major uh, uh, advantages of this. Then what is that drafting exactly? Before going to give any advertisements in any media, you need to draft that query neatly. So here in any advertisements, you need to uh, refer this IDA model, IDA principle, that is uh, attention, interest, desire, and take action related to any content of that particular email advertisement. So what does that attention means? Attention means you should be attentive to what you're giving that message to the advertiser to people, what is the headline of that particular uh, recruitment. And that should be in very simple words. You need to mention that job title, okay? And what are the promises are there? What are the opportunities are there, okay? Uh, that should be reached to the audience very easily. Like that, that uh, our writing sk skills should be very uh, attentive to all. That should be very easy to understand each particular sentence. Like that, you need to maintain that attention in while you're going to write that particular any uh, uh, recruitment, uh, this one, what is it? So uh, this is one of the major one. That is the ad must attract job seekers attention, a strong, interesting, and relevant headline is essential. It may be as simple as the job title itself or perhaps as a catchy benefit based promise that sets the position or opportunity apart. Take the time to consider the target audience and what would appeal to them before writing the ad. That's what at, you know, your ad should be very neat and very specific as per the need okay then attention examples are like a great opportunity to work on this exciting project which will identify ways to reduce the carbon footprint of ict or it environmental impact join us at no city house the elegant hotel you know like uh, there are some examples you can give that okay campus or australian national university come and work in on and uh, canberra's iconic on leading when venus like uh, depend on whatever you are giving information without spelling mistake okay without any uh, um, uh, changes in the uh, sentences your sentence should be good okay your uh, uh, spelling writing is good okay you need to maintain all those uh, particular points very neatly okay uh, then only it is very uh, uh, motivative and it will attract the candidate to okay uh, apply for your job then interest is also plays a very important part right? before your attention, okay? Interest also plays a very important role. Before you have to take that interest, I have to make this as an very interestingly. So then only I can write something related to that advertisement though. So the first paragraphs must grab the reader's attention and want them to read on and find out more. Include information about the job, its purpose very very important it's very very important what you are going to write in the any ad okay you must mention that okay uh, in a paragraph wise so in that particular paragraph it includes major information about the what their job is what is their job its purpose responsibilities and the team make sure it is interesting and very relevant like that, you need to make some paragraphs with proper sentences, okay, without uh, uh, any mistakes uh, in the spellings. So it is uh, very attractive to apply for any jobs. Then interest examples like in this position, you will play a leading role in all college activities, like an example, including coursework design and delivery, research projects, and outreach activities such as seminars, no doubt. The school has an uh, enviable uh, reputation for its commitment to research and enjoys continuing success in winning competitive grants, including ARC, Linkage, and Discovery grants. You will be joining a dynamic team of ac academics with a focus on achieving excellence in research and teaching. Like that, you need to mention uh, very attractive words. So on the basis of that, okay, you need to use uh, some new words while you're going to maintain uh, particular any ad in the media so desire 
the way to create desire for the position is to sell the benefits of the job no doubt the reader should think this sounds good this is perfect for me i want to learn more about this particular position means they have to think like in that manner likewise we need to live at such a kind of particular ads we need to leave such a kind of particular information so include information about the rewards and benefits of doing the job well and the quality of the team instead of simply listing the skills abilities and knowledge you are seeking describe them in terms of opportunities for potential applicants to use these capabilities by instead of uh, telling only what are the skills required abilities and knowledge you need to mention what are the future uh, uh, potentials are there what are the future opportunities are there by applying for such a kind of particular job you need to mention in that place more emphasis on benefits rather than features features describe the job benefits outline what's in it for them very very important place more emphasis on what are the benefits they will get rather than the features okay so features describe the what are the various kinds of particular jobs are there within the particular organization but benefits outline what in it for them what are the extra benefits are there for them to take from that particular job so these all are coming in this desire some desire examples are the university offers a great range of benefits including discounted health care free child uh, care centers salary uh, sacrifice in and study support they offer a flexible like uh, anything you can mention okay so what are the benefits you are giving them like that you need to mention in in detail and coming to action point action is the last step which encourages the candidate to apply by analyzing this all as directly that will encourages the uh, apply to the job a successful ad will result in quality job seeker hitting the apply now button like that so ensure the words are engaging and urge the job seekers to action action examples like apply now to be part of this innovative team for further information on this terrific opportunity contact like you need to mention that contact number okay then you need to mention about your organization if it is possible in online take an example you need to leave some uh, videos ads so it will really motivate uh, all the uh, candidates to apply for a job then what is the uh, size of uh, that particular especially in all the uh, particular uh, medium so use 14 to 20 is the uh, point size for the headings and subheadings try to uh, avoid upper case capital given in headings it slows down the uh, reading speed instead increase prominence of the heading by using a larger point size okay use 10 11 or 12 point size for the main text means approximately what we are going to use now that is roman uh, 12 font size but you can use 10 11 or 12 also depend on the uh, where you are going to live in such a kind of ad anything smaller or larger font size that Uh, these are actually more difficult to read and therefore less likely to be read definitely one should avoid upper case capitals in the body copy that is main text for the same reason one should avoid italics shadows light colors reversed out of dark weird and uh, wonderful colors none of these improve uh, readability they all reduce it it is better to use simple black or dark colored text on a white that is uh, light colored or background should be white for maximum readability i mentioned many times uh, to the class instead of using any uh, colored background slides or any this one you have to simply as a, it, it is a professional uh, course mba is a professional course you have to learn something from this like this uh, as an executive as a professional uh, student you need to maintain that as a hobby while you're going to write anything uh, professionally uh, your font choice uh, for font style that style should be roman new and heading should be 14 and text should be 12 and left side right side and bottom and top should be you have to leave one one inches so uh, and the uh, font the color should be uh, um, black and background should be white that should be clearly what i mentioned and i am mentioning now also 
so in in future coming any placements uh, that written exams or whatever you need to maintain that okay even in any advertisements also if you are uh, eager to give any such a kind of uh, particular any ad in the future life take an example if you are selected in any ad agencies take an example yeah you need to mention all these points first then take approval from the higher authority then uh, give that particular ad so such a kind of particular and what should be the content content should be not uh, too high and too, too low content should be if how much it is it is short but sweet like that so the job advertisement sh should be easy to read simple language should be used and complicated words should be avoided unless absolutely necessary and enough space should be kept around the neck to attract attention to it giving some space between the text is a very powerful way of attracting the eye and also a way of ensuring efficient writing since efficient writing enables efficient reading simple language should be used sentences should be short more than 15 words in a sentence reduces the clarity of the meaning more than 15 words okay it should uh, reduces the clarity no doubt after drafting the communication always check the commas grammar and spellings every short form in front of that every short form you need to mention that full point okay uh, then after that it is better to use bullet points and small size paragraphs a lot of words in one big see uh, some people their hobby is paragraphs are in the form of one pages no paragraphs are like maximum 5 to 6 lines okay there is one paragraph some people they believe in only one line one one paragraph no not not like that go to that professional writing okay maximum 5 to 6 lines you need to uh, leave that one more paragraph so uh, it it gives the proper sense to read and there should be a, a common space between uh, one word to another word okay a lot of words in one big paragraph is very unpleasant don't use a lot of words between the, uh, in one paragraph or in one sentences to the reader and will probably not be read also okay it will become boring for them always use simple font size like uh, styles like again arial and then uh, tahoma times new roman is common to all etc so this is what the content like as an a professional student okay as an executive if you are coming uh, maybe any managers like you need to adapt to all these particular uh, uh, how you are going to leave such a kind of ads in the all uh, then next coming to the contents of public sector recruitments uh, for the purpose to uh, give any uh, uh, public sector recruitments okay what are the major contents you need to follow okay for single and multiple sources the following sources are employed in the public sector organizations to recruit their employees first one is notifications through advertisement in newspaper like rozgar samachar that is one paper is there you can go through that all india competitive entrance exams employment exchanges internal sources through promotion and transfer casual employment stickers and employees relatives and friends like that okay you can uh, mention that and these are the major content of the public sector recruitment then choosing the best source is very important that is very very important especially in btu okay in uh, their particular live economy if there is any recruitments are there okay if there is any notices are there if they are not going to notify anything so they will use some uh, print ads in that particular side so on the basis of that it becomes very easy for them to uh, read and uh, in inform to the public so the public enterprise selection board PESB very important okay choosing the best source PESB public enterprise selection board is a high powered body created by government of india no doubt so under that whatever the advertisements are there they are going to leave such a kind of advertisement to PESB ye kunat sa hai yes who is this the psb has been set up with the objective of evolving a sound managerial policy for the central public sector enterprises and in particular see here how we are using those all commas and everything and in particular 
to advise government on appointments to their top management posts the policy of government is to appoint through a fair and objective selection procedure outstanding professional managers to level 1 and level 2 post and post at any level uh, as may be decided by the government from time to time government have also recognized that need to develop a cadre of professional managers cadres are may be managers assistant managers then uh, recruitment managers may be assistant recruitment manager hr manager assistant hr manager personal manager manager like that uh, those cadres are there so depend on that cadre of professional managers within a public sector hence unless marketedly better candidates are available from outside internal candidates employed in the pse will be preferred for appointment to board level posts however if internal candidates are not available preference will be given to the candidates working in other public sector enterprises pses are either in the same area of business or in any video other areas also mobility of majorly personal among pses within the same sector or group failing which mobility within the public sector as a whole will be encouraged subject to certain limitations see the gist of this particular choosing the best source is on the basis of uh, this particular public enterprise selection board okay they are going to list the kind of particular ads where the vacancies are available okay if there is a, any uh, internal uh, any uh, uh, recruitments are there they will recruit on the basis of the availability of the employees uh, according to the talent they will check talent performance everything if those that is not there then uh, they will leave such a kind of particular all the uh, uh, openings in the, by using this public se- enterprises selection board may be in the form of level 1 and level 2 Uh, posts so on the basis of that only the cadres are also dependent and uh, uh, salary is also dependent and work is also dependent so on the basis of level and uh, level 1 and level 2 they need to perform to the uh, organizations in public sector especially in uh, public sector they are going to use that uh, some print ads so on the basis of that um, uh, public becomes uh, know about uh, what are the openings are available in the uh, government so these are the main major points first i'll take your attendance then i will take to uh, further points so up to here i completed uh, if you have any questions you can ask me or otherwise uh, i want to ask some questions related to this i completed your fourth unit of your recruitment and selection also if you have any questions you can ask me now yes pragati choudhary rashmi magudum all have to come in video mode please all have to come in video mode rashmi magdum pragati choudhary yes sir all have to come in video mode tejeshwini upuri renuka mm-hmm. bhasme sapnil ekwade gautami tapale shila ratnawar akshata siraldini संकेत रासल यस आई ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड योर फोर्थ यूनिट ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट एंड सिलेक्शन आल्सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट योर टाइम अलोंग विद दिस आई नीड टू डिस्कस सम मोर पॉइंट्स लाइक व्हाट आर द पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर कमिंग अंडर द योर फोर्थ फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स्थ यूनिट आई विल कंप्लीट योर सिलेबस देन आई विल टेक योर ऑनलाइन प्रेजेंटेशंस आल्सो no doubt i'll give some presentations after completion of this syllabus yes pradnya patil pradnya patil akshata sc 
Sushmita Bargali. Yes, if you have any doubt, any question. Yes, Rohin, I'll start from Rohin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, has you thought, uh, has you said, uh, yes, sir, that has you said there are sources of external recruitment, sir, like advertisement in newspaper, TV, radio advertisement, internet, search on internet, consultants. So that uh, if they ask for 10 marks, then we have to write all, also, all we have to write and we have to explain I'll it. Tell you the hint. No, no, no. They will make yes, sir. Yes, sir. If they, if they ask, uh, explain in detail sources of external recruitment means you need to explain all the points. In generally, by taking all those points, in generally, you need to write that advantages and disadvantages to all the sources. If they specifically ask any mm -hmm. related to newspaper, radio, or any uh, internet, take an example. Specifically on that, you need to write the write down the what is that uh, internet, this one, or radio, or any uh, TV advertisement. So give that introduction part, uh, then write down advantages and uh, disadvantages, and in your own words, at least in the three to four lines, you need to write that conclusion part. So even we have to include the advantages and disadvantages. If say, if they say that detail, explain of all the sources. You need to write uh, all these at least one or two uh, advantages and disadvantages of every uh, medium. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Maybe sometimes they'll ask directly. Okay. If they ask only this much, explain in detail the sources of internal and external recruitment. General question. Take an example. Five marks to the what you are going to mention only to about the uh, internal sources and external sources. So uh, what are the internal sources are there? You need to write that the two lines of explanation of each particular internal sources and external sources. Uh, each sources, uh, two lines of explanation. Only that much is enough for 10 marks. So that depend on how they are going to ask the question, depend on that, you need to give that answer. If they ask generally, you need to give general answer. If they ask specifically like advantages, disadvantages, objectives, what are the principles of that, okay? Along with that, what kind of particular marks are there? Okay, depend on that marks, you need to explain. But don't don't lose your time. Give respect to time. According to each question, you, you need to divide that particular questions and you need to make that pass. Writing skills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, if there is only 10 mark on question, is there, then you are going to waste uh, uh, 30 minutes for that you, only one question. It, uh, again, uh, you, lo you lose time. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, yes, sir. The uh, if they ask ten marks, sir, we at least we have to write two pages, no, sir. It will take half. really time. So, like two and half to three. Two and half pages. Two and half to three. Sir, That's it will. Your writing. Sir, like be very speed. Mm -hmm. Along with yes, that, sir. Uh, because uh, sometimes while writing, no, sir, even three hours is very less for completing the I'll, papers. I will tell you, especially in recruitment and selection. Okay. Uh, same purposes and everything it becomes very easy but we all know that everything but uh, while you're going to write okay lots of information is there even you can write in your own words also yes sir yes sir but the time will be very less sir. that's what time time will be very less but you need to manage that and uh, if there is a 10 mark question two and a half pages minimum you need to write it i'm not talking about the content yes sir be specific Yes, yes. What is hmm. Rashmi. Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. No, any questions. Meghna Jakati. No questions, sir. No? No, sir. Saraswati Kurni. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, 